Doris, welcome to my channel. My name is Kim Enchantress. Sorry, I had to stop your reading. I was having a coughing fit. So bear with me. A little bit uh, choked up at the moment. So maybe that's how you're feeling. Not sure what's going on here, but I was fine before this reading. So we've got um, the between card that's come up from the Gratitude Oracle. So what I was feeling with this card here, Taurus, is that you're between two um, worlds, thoughts, perhaps, or actions. So you don't know if you want to go through the portal where it seems like it's all dead or stay in, in the abundance area. There's a, an elderly man here giving advice to this young person. Or maybe this person is who you're meeting. Maybe this is someone from a past life here. But we'll see. Uh, this card is 51, so it does break down to a 6. There's confusion of whether to go through, but it's telling you to try a new direction. So maybe you're hesitating on going through this portal. But it's time to take charge. Now we have the sparrow. It's come through from the animal... The Enchanted Animal Deck. And it is about trusting. So maybe trusting your intuition to go through that portal perhaps. This is, um, you know, staying grounded and healing here. There's a lot of abundance in both cards here. And you need to have fun. Is a message from spirit so you in between two decisions perhaps a decision to move forward to to meet this person or to stay where you are let's see what the Lenormand cards have to say okay okay so we've got the house here and I was just looking at the house in that first picture at the back. This is um, you staying grounded while you make decisions. You've got a message to try a new direction. You're probably going around in circles. This is a relationship with somebody that you possibly live with. It's quite possible. It's your card here, Taurus. So this is uh, a woman that you know. It's about having fun. Okay, so you've got a relationship with someone who's a little bit nurturing, a bit of a mother, a bit jealous, a bit too controlling in some respect, and you've got some secrets here. So this is um, possibly someone that's keeping a secret from you, who you live with. And you've got the dog. So this is a, a woman who's friendly. Um, someone who's loyal. I've been feeling, and this is more you, Taurus, you're staying loyal. Um, you've got some sort of secrets that you're keeping. You don't know. You're between um, whether you want to share these secrets with a friend or whether you want to keep them to yourself. But it's about trusting. Trusting your own intuition. So on the bottom of the card, we have the snake. So this could be about complications in your life. It could be about just um, taking another detour, another way around. Like it said, a tr to try a new direction, Spirit's telling you. So, you know, instead of going on a straight road, you know, go around the bend or just take another direction. Now that um, we do have... Taurus, your own energies in this reading, and we've got Pisces and Scorpio. So I'm just going to have a little read out of the book just to see if I've missed anything. Because I'm reading these intuitively. Uh, just give me a second. So Taurus. Okay, there is a girl on a horse riding towards a portal. I've got that okay. Uh, it's created by two trees. Now the two men are conferring on one side of the tree. Trees are the symbol of life's connections to all things. Okay, so that's tying in with the ring. It's a bond. It's a connection here. 
and the trees can be said to hold a space between heaven and earth. Their roots go deep into Mother Earth, but their trunks and branches extend high into the air. The, por the portal in front of the girl offers her the choice of whether to cross through or not. So the affirmation is, I experience my mind's silence and gratefully experience it between times. So this could be, um, because the veil's thin, you're getting downloads, uh, maybe you're seeing a past life connection here. So that's pretty um, neat. Let's have a look at the, um, the sparrow here. Now, with the um, sparrow, where are we? Okay, so we've got trust. It is connected to the sun. Now, I feel like that you've had a lack of trust in life and self. So, you know, your guidance is you don't trust what is happening around you. That's why Spirit's saying try a new direction. Take charge and be assertive. But have fun along the way. Now, are people that surround you trustworthy? Are you in a situation that makes you doubt yourself? So... Uh, people around you that trustworthy well you've got someone telling you lies here there's secrets okay happening in the home now um are you in a situation that you doubt yourself are you deferring too much to others for answers or opinions you need to take charge like i said here taurus now ask yourself questions you've been asking others. Trust answers will come, but be prepared to wait for them. Sit with yourself, breathe, ask a question and wait and trust the process of getting the right answer. Now this uh, sparrow's message to you is let us flip through the trees and sing as the right sorry, sing at the rising sun. We honour the new day with our song and trust in the process of life. Let us find what will nurture us. So there is an affirmation that you must trust yourself, your thoughts and your actions. So don't worry about the direction or uh, hesitating to go through the portal. If you've got a connection with someone from the past or someone's trying to give you a message in some way, you definitely um, want a loyal connection with somebody and maybe this person in your life has been a little bit jealous and they're telling lies perhaps. You do want, uh, you do have secrets in the home is what I'm feeling. So let's have a look at the colours here in this picture. Now you've got the green, the red and the white. So the red is definitely your base chakra. It's you trusting your mind, body and soul. It's telling you to stay grounded. Now your strengths are your family, definitely. This is where you feel safe. This is where you're comfortable, your safe haven. It's, um, it gives you the foundations so you know where to walk in life. And it's your identity and you bonding with someone here, Taurus. This is a bond. It's staying loyal like the dog and being as one, but there's some secrets which you're having trust issues with. Now the orange in, is also uh, the sacral chakra, so it's about honouring one another. You know, your strengths, you're trying to survive. Is it fight or flight in this picture? You know, you're pretty resilient, so I feel like, you know, you've got the ability to create and take risks in your life. So the green in the picture here is about love. It's love and compassion. And if you're going to move on here, Taurus, you have to forgive the other person. Just keep inspired by others. Have hope and trust and the ability to heal from this situation. Now let's take a look. 
to finish off this reading, I'm going to ask my oracle chart, have you met your soulmate yet? So let's see where you're going to meet this person, perhaps. Okay. I'll get you to say the words with me as I ask spirit, has Taurus met their soulmate yet? I feel like they're outside of your zip code or possibly another country, but let's see. Flower. So give me a second here, Taurus. Okay. okay, so it is the person you are with here, Taurus. Um, there's secrets, maybe uh, complications in the relationship. As I said, was under the deck, but I do feel like um, someone's going to forgive you, or you're going to forgive them. Perhaps um, you know you're going to nurture this person, no matter what. It's all about being one. And we've got the garden here, so this is um, being able to trust this person with all your heart you know maybe you're the one that's holding the secrets in this connection but i feel like um you know there is going to be a gift of flowers or an invitation coming in secret from a woman and you need to go out and have some fun it's required i mean every relationship is not perfect it's ha it has its ups and downs and it is hard work and you have to work on it you know, the whole connectedness is about being able to repair, which is what you're doing here, repairing the relationship, you know, and uh, possibly taking it to the next level, guys, the person that you were with. So that's beautiful. Uh, you're the first reading I've had that is um, with their soulmate. So if this resonated with you and you've got a couple of questions, I'm happy to answer a couple of questions for free. Just email me at kim.enchantress at gmail.com. Link is description box below. If anyone else wants a private or personal reading with me based on your energies, bear in mind this is for the collective. I'm happy to do that also. I give you the information. I am doing discounted readings for the month of October, guys. Let's see where I can fit you in. Thank you so much for coming to the channel. Really appreciate it. It helps my channel grow. And um, I love giving the messages where they're meant to go. So stay safe, please. Bye, Taurus.